Magandang gabi sa inyo lahat. Mabuhay kayo all pop culture fans. Ako si Rick Olivares and we're with Jiggy Cruz and Nikki De Guzman. And once more, we're back in Earth 1979. Good evening, everyone. Rick, on your left. Hello, hello. <laughs> yes. Buti indeed. na lang, nasa left ka talaga. <laughs> oh, oh. Pero you know what? Hindi, uh, fail. <laughs> you know, to, to everyone out there who's watching this podcast of Hall of Justice. You know, we're well, we're back in Earth 1979, but that's not the only reason why we're back. Because in this episode of Hall of Justice, we are going back in 2020. No, we're not going to talk about what made this year terrible. We're going to talk about what made this year fun for pop culture fans. Jiggy, Nikki, what do we have in store for our viewers out there? We have a lot in store, Rick. No? So we were going through all the news that happened from January until today, and mm-hmm. it's a lot. So we had to trim it down and pick our favorites in the news realm of pop culture. So, ayun. so yep. we have a, a long episode tonight, so I suggest we get right to it. So, Nikki, we're going to go... Um, back to January, but first, our poll for tonight is what was the most important pop culture news event of 2020? So please type in your comments on the comment section below and get a chance for it to be read live tonight. So, hey, Nikki, should we start January? Okay. Before, before what we do hear we have from first? Nikki, pwede ba humir it about that poll? Sana kasama sa poll yung Hall of Justice, guys. Ha? Sana. <laughs> ayun, ayun. Shameless, shameless plug. Nikki, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Nikki. <laughs> well, ako, uh, what I remember from January was yung unang labas ng McFarlane figures from DC. Kasi DC has mm. since uh, dropped Mattel, right? So, wow. basically, they split their um, main toy lines into two. Isang for... Children, which is by uh, Spin Master. Tapos yung For Collectors is by McFarlane na. So yun, they're very nice. Pero uh, let's go back to the issue na they're 7-inch nga as compared to the previous figures ng DC and Marvel. So may silang i-display. But apart from that fact, maganda sila and maganda yung range ng characters and designs na pinili nila. So, That's Nina mine Nikki, for January. Again. What was your very first McFarlane DC figure again? I don't have it with Lisa Young. It's Wonder Woman 1984. Man. Yeah, Ooh, the one in yes, the Golden yes, yes. Eagle armor. Okay, okay. I remember yeah, you talking one. about that. Anyway, ako it's naman, a Rick, must get. Parang when we were going through the list, oh nga, no, this year pala nangyari to. So we also chose that it's when Baby Yoda, if you haven't seen The Mandalorian yet, we're not going to spoil anything now since we're still in January of 2020. But see, the child, or more commonly known as Baby Yoda, he met the creator, George Lucas. Mm. And this was posted early this year and it went viral. Parang, parang siyang lolo. Nakakatawa oh, ng oh. <laughs> You know what, guys? It was trending yesterday. I'm sorry. Uh, my Twitter settings are all set to London. But for some reason, I saw Baby Yoda was trending yesterday in London. Uh, guess what? As a Christmas tree ornament. So on the top of the tree, instead of a star, it's Baby Yoda. Ta. Oh, I've nasa seen ta. those things. <laughs> oh, oh, He's ba? both so a then... star and an angel, so I don't see why it's mali. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh diba? one of the runaway big stars and revelations of this year mm. is baby. Diba? 
Uh, and then oh, finally pa- for January, Rick, no, we gotta be proud because our fellow Kababayan, um, he's a Filipino artist, he made it and he actually got to draw Marvel Action Avengers published by IDW and that's Mr. Butch Mapa. So I'm very happy for Butch. He's a nice guy. And he made it. He made it. And the more I gotta work get one of that, you know. Yeah. I gotta get one of that. I don't know if it's I know. Sorry, you guys, but you know, that's on my Christmas list right now. That's a okay. gift to myself. <laughs> oh, of course, Airbed Doroteo, our uh, number one viewer, first comment, <laughs> and he's saying that for him the most relevant was DC fandom. The MCU phase yeah, we'll four talk about that later. announcement, mm. and of course, the Mandalorian season two premiere. Again, were his most relevant pop culture news. So, moving on to February, Nikki, maraming favorites kadito. So we'll turn it over back to you. Favorites, talaga. Okay, um, let's talk about si Punchline is first introduced. If you guys don't know her, she's this character introduced in Joker War na, ano, na, well, she plays a big part in Joker War, but she was first mm. introduced in Feb pa. Uh, she's basically a more horrific version of, <laughs> of Harley, Harley Quinn. But of course, Team Harley pa rin ako as you know, my get up shows tonight. Uh, mm-hmm. she's not Joker's girlfriend. It's important to note that she's her, she's his partner, though. She claims. So mm. it's so much more than that. She's like a female Joker, though, and she's really, um, must disturbing siya, must evil siya than Harley. Would you say Very that interesting she's character. character of the year? Well, wala naman siya masyadong kalaban. <laughs> when it comes to Batman, ano, ah, there's Clown Hunter, but yeah, I suppose because punchline has been well received for some Grabe reason. Grabe hype. Eh. Oh, okay lang. Oh, that's all bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah she, she's punchline okay. Punchline is more badass than badass. Harley. She is though. She is. I concur. She really I is. I concur. But yeah. she, but Harley's cuter. So. <laughs> oh, on the line. On the line. Uh, speaking of Harley, Birds of Prey came out. Um, mm. I loved it. Jiggy loved it, de ba? Rick, oh, I liked it. it. I I really, really enjoyed Birds of Prey. It's up there for my DC movies because, you know, it was it's very entertaining. You don't need to think from the, from the moment you watch yeah. it until the end. You don't need to take it Although, although I was sad in the ending credits. Like, oh, <laughs> I'm going to wait for something. Then, huh? Well, I waited for that. Like, oh. uh, but I did enjoy it thoroughly. I guess that's a cue for our viewers out there to aabangan nila yung Jiggy's rants. Hindi, <laughs> Rick's rants talaga. Melding rants. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, apart from Punchline, we gotta uh, uh, acknowledge that si Sam Raimi was announced to be directing Doctor Strange in the yeah. Multiverse of Madness. And we actually got this idea for Hall of Justice, no? When we were talking about the show. So we go, why don't we say that we're from Earth 1979? But people will remember that Phil Bars was established 1979 and mm. all that. And grabby yung marketing for all things multiverse. And since Scott Derrickson left the project, I think it was a really good choice that Sam Raimi is back in the Marvel family. And we're going to get probably that old smoke mobile already rick uh, that I car th- that he features every single movie that was we don't know <laughs> so I, I think there's he has the right amount of madness and quirkiness yeah. to do that movie you know? so yeah i'm excited for that one that was shades of you know, spider-man too na, uh what are we gonna call this guy dr octopus no, dr strange ah oh, it's nice but it's taken so you do know that he's also a Doctor Strange fan. So, ayun. anyway, before I continue on with Multiverse of Madness, also, Nikki, si Joaquin Phoenix, he won the Oscar for his performance of Joker. Rick, what do you, what do you think? I think it's pretty good. You know, um, yeah. you know, I think he's really stepped out 
of the shadow of his brother River Phoenix and he's made a name for himself because River when he was still with us was such an intense terrific actor but Joaquin if you look at Gladiator even this you know even playing the Joker galing niya talaga galing so ako well deserved How do you guys how do you guys think he compares to other Jokers like the other people who I think he's Joker. the best he's the best uh, you know Jared Leto is okay he was okay, but Joaquin, again, no? I think you need the right amount of craziness to pull off a character like that, you know? And like I said, if you watch Gladiator and Joaquin Phoenix was there mm. and he was crazy as, you know? Yeah, oh, so. kasi, ano, so, Mark Hamill is like the Joker, ko, like, perfect. Like, <laughs> both Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill are the perfect parang Batman and Joker. So, yun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ako... Um, what I liked about Joaquin Phoenix's Joker, actually, most challenging on his part because he didn't have a Batman to square off with. So, talagang bubuhati niya nang siya lang. He didn't have weapons. He wasn't. Mm. He wasn't Batman. He wasn't Batman's Joker. He had mm-hmm. to present himself as Joker lang talaga. Sa so, parang mas mas focus siya sa mental illness part, which yeah. is different sa lahat ng naging Batman before. Those are really good Maybe points. it's from the comics. Different from the comics, pero uh, in terms of acting, in terms of delivery, walang kapantay. So he yeah. really deserves his Oscar. Okay. Right, right. So that's okay. it for February pa lang tayo, guys. Oh, so, so, okay. Okay. <laughs> Marami pa tayo pa chichikahan. Yeah, before we go to the March uh, events, no, we want to say hi to all our viewers tonight who are with us. Cynthia, good evening. Erbe, of course. Si Andre, you've got Ray. You've got Chris, Miggy, and who else? Dave is here. So yeah, uh, thank you for joining us on Hall of Justice. And this is the year-end recap. So what do we have for March, guys? Well, we got to discuss two strange A's. So, mm. with Strange Academy and Strange Adventures. But first, with Strange Academy, I think um, it's pretty cool that Marvel put their own version of Hogwarts. Mm. So, there are students and new characters, including like uh, Dormammu Jr. So, you gotta mm. see it for yourself. Read it for yourself <laughs> as excellent art by Umberto Ramos and, of course, written by Scotty Young. So, yun, mas, si Scotty is... Um, using his other creative juices in the writing side and not the drawing side. So yeah, Rick, I know you're a fan of the of this particular title, see Strange Adventure. So coming from Mr. Miracle, see Tom King and Mitch Gerrards are back together yeah. with this Adam Strange story. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a very mature story uh, featuring one of the how do you say this? Left of center characters in the DC universe. And as I've said in previous episodes of Hall of Justice, I'm a fan of these science heroes, challengers of the unknown, Fantastic Four, you know, so Adam Strange, Mr. Miracle. I love all these guys. You know, I think it's really cool. And Tom King, by, by virtue of writing this title, is giving that character a massive shot in the arm. First issue palang, pero medyo mahirap igets pa kung ano nangyayari. So that's why you got to read it. And I'm sure, you know, if you all read Mr. Miracle, this is going to be a winner. So you got to read Strange Adventures. Yeah. So March also, that's when the lockdown happened. That's when I started staying at home and not leave the house. But you know, yeah, we should, have, sorry. we should have all stayed in Earth 1979. Well, lockdowns Earth 1979. Oh, my. Oh, so my. But also in March, we got to mention a really, really great toy that Lego released. And we got to mention it. It was the Super Mario Lego. Um, I still have to get me one of these. Wow. I know a lot of friends who, who have this particular toy. Um, and sobrang galing dang daw niya talaga. Like, it is... I wish I had it when I was a kid. It is cute. But it's also for adults, di ba? Sabi nga sa Lego movie, di ba, yung age sa box. That's just a suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> Recommended nga, di ba? Recommended. Oh, nga. So, yun. Oh. So, 
Anyway, like, we, what I remember for March was the Batmobile controversy ni Robert Pattinson. You guys remember sorry, how his Batmobile looked? Yeah. I like I like the Batmobile this one. I think it's Same, cool. I kind of like it because people said it just looked like a muscle car down makeshift Batmobile. It dudes. Yeah. Do, I I think I think see si Matt Reeves already uh expressed his point na Si, si Batman here will be like parang year two. So he's a kind of major rookie Batman without the help of Lucius Fox. So maybe ginawa lang na yung car na yan from his, you know, muscle car. Siguro ko pag lumabas yung The Batman, maraming bibili ng kotse yan sa si US. Oh. Like, oh, I'm driving a Batmobile. So yan, tingnan yeah. natin. I'm can sure. You, if you look at it, if you, can, if you can show the Batmobile again on screen for everyone's benefit, Take a look at it. Right? Doesn't it give I mean, that mad? I think it gives it Mad Max vibe, don't you think, guys? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Metro, oh. yeah, yeah. Modiba. It, it's it's not a modified model. Model. Not don't, get it. Yeah. don't get the hate. What was the best Mat- Batmobile, ba? Keaton, no you, doubt. Guys. Keaton. Oh, In terms of Keaton. I agree. Yeah. That was something. In else, terms of yeah. practicality, siguro sila ano? Because si si Batfleck. Kind of medio copied. No, you know, I don't know. Like Dark Knight. Eh. Sorry. Yeah, medio medio same lang siya dun sa kay, kay Ay, Christopher Nolan. Tumblr? However, meron kasing bat pod yun, so that makes it way cooler. If you think about it, kasi si Batman should have a car na unidentifiable. So that was a really good idea from Christopher Nolan na tank siya na black. Right? Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. Ayun. So sabi nga ni Mario, let's go. We'll, we'll go to April now. <laughs> let's um, go. And a lot of these, a lot of artists really stepped up to help the local comic shops. And we got to acknowledge the amazing Jim Lee. And he had several, like 60, 60 illustrations and 100% went to wow. BINC Foundation. Like, I was monitoring some of, some of these pieces. Some would reach twenty thousand dollars, and wild, Whoa. wild. But I learned all these rich people in the U.S. bidding on these illustrations because they're sila ng tax cuts apparently. If you know, since for donation, siya. But if you can show the image again, um, that Sandman on your upper left portion of the screen. It, I believe, I think twenty, close to twenty thousand US. And sinabi ni Jim Lee because of the generosity of the the winning, the winning bidder, gagawin siyang cover eventually for DC Black Label. So win win for for both parties, diba? Ayun. And then there was also a trend back in April called yung six. Fan art, so maraming sumalajan, but we chose um, this J. Scott Campbell on the left and see si Mahmoud Asrar <laughs> on the right. So, yeah, astig yung Sailor Moon din kasi ni J. Scott Campbell, and then ipapayan from the Sailor Moon redraw. But, ayun, this was a trend back in, in April, which I thought was pretty cool. You know, guys, I want to say if I can go back very quickly to Jim Lena. This guy is on his third decade of drawing comic books and he's still a top tier artist. Can you believe that? I don't know many artists who have gone through three decades of comic books and still remains a fan fave, you know? And uh, yeah. the art is just as vibrant or if not even better today than it was when he first came on. But when I first saw him, what? Punisher War Journal, right? So, galing, galing talaga. Hats off. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, man. I'm just kidding. I think I have to go to another Earth, to an alternate Earth, Earth to figure that out. <laughs> no, but uh, I, I gotta agree with you because when you ask people here, like the comic book fans, kung wari mag convention na tayo ulit, oh, sinong gusto mong pumunta dito? It's always Jim Lee. Jim Lee. Like, grabe yung clamor Jim Lee or Jim Alex Lee. Ross. Jim yeah. Lee or Alex Ross, di ba? Yeah. Nako, wag mo nang paalala kasi... Nung nasa States ako, napapirma ko yung mga hush ko. Yung Batman hush. Eh, naundoy, naundoy yun. Eh, so diba? swerte. 
Oh, no. Oh, no. Kalumpot. Kalumpot. And then April, we got, well, personally, I really got the saddest news of the year because all the Marvel movies were delayed, postponed. <laughs> but we have a few weeks left for 2020. And then, you know, it's so January 15, we have one division. So, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Right. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's it for April and then May. Nikki, what do you think of the Snyder Cut being announced? <laughs> Oo nga, sasabihin ko pa lang eh. Well, I think this is much needed kasi ang daming na-disappoint talaga with the movie <laughs> na Justice League. Parang the fans need this. Regardless, kahit pa HBO Max lang siya. Kahit pa, it's, a, it's now a mini-series. It's not a movie anymore. And I think that will be for the benefit then of the uh, of storytelling. Kasi the movie barely made it sa, to our mark. Sobrang konti <laughs> story niya. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe it's gonna show on HBO Go also here in Asia. Para may nakita ako na tweet ni Zach Snyder. Mm. Asia, we heard you. Kaya ipapalabas din yung Snyder Cut sa HBO Go, if I'm not mistaken. Um, well, ang masasabi ko lang, this one is definitely going to be better, but we're still not sure if it's gonna be good. <laughs> okay, you heard it from we'll Nikia. It will definitely we'll be better. <laughs> Grabe, pati sa pelikula, may retcon, ma. Grabe. <laughs> What's that about? What's the worst thing about Justice League? I assume you guys have both watched it. Yeah, yeah. I. Just. Ano? Gusto ko tayo review ng Rick's Rants. Next time na lang. Hindi ako ready. Next time na lang. Ako eh. Pang, pang Rick's Rants. I, I, I enjoyed it. Hmm. I enjoyed hmm. it. If you yeah. don't think about. Yeah, kung di ka maghahanap ng flaws naman. Wala. It's just something you watch once. Ganun. Yeah. Diba? Yep. Well, Nikki, mm. into other parang happy things naman for you. Um, I, <laughs> you you told things. us that um, you started reading Something is Killing the Children. So, okay ba siya? Because yeah. I haven't started reading it. Uh, if you're into horror, yeah. Maganda to. Kasi I, I love how horror comics with children always have that parang fairy tale, dark fairy tale touch to them, ganito to. Pero with action. Lots and lots of action. What's so this one's really nice. Character? Uh, I forgot because I read it a few uh, weeks ago. But Basta she wa- she's this blonde girl na para siyang slayer-ish. May pagka-buffy siya. Hmm. Tapos her origins have not yet been um, revealed talaga. So... Okay. But pero yung yung monster. I, this is very hard to introduce in a spoiler-free context. <laughs> pero uh, <laughs> ayo, uh, no, basta, basta, basta <laughs> the, yeah, basta basahin niyo. Nahirapan ako mag-explain. It's nice if you're into horror. Okay. No, grabe kasi yung hype around something is killing the children, yeah. like and yeah. the variants. Uh, speaking of variants, also no me Phil Bars had an exclusive with our past guest just a couple of weeks ago, the Buffy mm. the Vampire Slayer cover by our very own Kajo Baldissimo. So this is the Buffy every generation. So yun. there it is. You won. Rick has Rick. It. Rick. Yes, sir. Oh, oh. Mm-hmm. Meron pa copies of Phil Bars, so you better get it. You should get it as a Christmas gift yourself. And there's uh, an Easter egg for all Filipinos in the cover. You may not see it, but it's there. (laughs) Yes. Very, you know, a slight hint. Anyway, almost halfway. We're now in June. (laughs) And unfortunately, uh, before we continue, so guys, if you're just joining us, the poll question for tonight's Hall of Justice is what was the most important pop culture news event of 2020? And this is our year-end recap. We're now in June. So, yun, June, bad news for a lot of uh, most retailers. No? DC Comics leaving Diamond. Oh. So, wow. Yeah. Grabe yung in the middle of the pandemic, 
kawawa like after yung back the comeback biglang boom uh dc sorry we're, we're sorry diamond we're gonna go yeah was... yeah also come october iniwanan din sila na, naman sila ng ucs <laughs> When they left Diamond, they were like, oh, okay, so we'll be uh, using Lunar and UCS na, tapos come October. Iniwan na naman sila ng UCS. <laughs> so, bumabalik lang din. It goes around, comes around. It's been a strange year. Pero yung good mm. news naman ng June, bumalik na rin yung comic. So, after March, so April and May were parang talagang, wala talagang comics being shipped because everyone was stuck at home. But, yeah. ayun, in June, bumalik na agad yung comics. And, more exclusive from Phil Bars. Rick, I know you want this for Christmas. The Iron Man Glow in the Dark Funko exclusive from Phil Nako. Bars. Nako, ninang Nikki. You know now what I'm <laughs> Hala, buhay pa pala yun. I thought that that pala. ship has sailed and, and, and crashed and sunk at the bottom of the ocean. Unfortunately, you know, it's like a phoenix. It's back. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Pero, you know, that's re- that's just a really great... Can you, If we can see that Iron Man glow in the dark, no? Look at that. Look at the detail. It's just a magnificent, you know, Funko Pop. And it's, you know, uh, Tony Stark's most heroic moment in his life. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, um, Meren Ding... We were talking about this off podcast, guys, and they're, they're the release of the Funko Blacklight Pops. So, sa akin, nung una ko nakita, hmm, they're kind of kinky. Ayun, <laughs> 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 pero astig naman siya. Astig. Like, the Thor one is nice. <laughs> and it probably, of course, the Spider-Man, maganda rin siya. But, Rick, what are your thoughts? Yeah, it, it's, it has that funky feel to it. But it takes some getting used to, but it's attractive. Eh? It's something yeah. nice to have in your collection. Pero teka, no, wala. teka, teka. Kayo lahat, ah, pati mga nanunod ng Hall of Justice, medyo lumayo kayo sa akin, baka mahawa kayo. Kasi, nisip ko na ako, baka mahalimut ko pa kayo lahat. <laughs> Whatever, Rick. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um... We've reached the halfway point of 2020, and we'd like to remember all those who have left us during this year. So here is our little tribute for the legends that have moved on. That's uh, that's quite a long list of people who have left us this year. Ako, to be very honest with you, Denny O'Neill, losing Denny O'Neill. I grew up reading Denny's comics on Batman and Daredevil. He is one reason why I love comic books. And, you know, it was tough to lose an old-time writer like him. Of course, you know, Chadwick Boseman, uh, Kobe Bryant. And imagine he just retired and had not been able yeah. to fully enjoy the benefits of being a legend in the game. And then he's taken from us just like that. So, bigat, no? Bigat, no? And then Chadwick, no one knew that he was ill. But even while shooting those films, he wasn't well. But just showing what kind of person he is, no? That he, he, con- he continued to, to shoot those films. And uh, 
You know, he's not not with us. Yeah. And very cryptic yung sinasabi ng Marvel that they will not replace him. So I'm wondering, will Shuri don the black we, we don't know. A we have yet to find out. Oh, very cryptic yun, eh, di ba? They will yeah. not replace him. So, all right. Mm-hmm. Anyway, let's on to like may ilang days pa sa 2020. So let's just pray na no more bad news for the rest of 2020 dahil oh. we've had enough. Enough is enough. Di ba? Oh. Yun. And then you July, know. Rick, I was really sad because mm. there was no San Diego Comic Con physical, oh. physical event. <laughs> event for, 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 for the first time. Our, yeah, for the benefit of all our viewers out there, si Jiggy is a San Diego Comic Con regular. So, naputol yan. But then again, the same for everyone and everyone just had to watch it from home. So yeah, for the first time in the 50-year history of San Diego Comic-Con International, like got an SDCC online. And, but the thing is, the exclusives were still there. Yeah. The panels were still there. But you meet friends as you go along. Eh? If, if you continue attending the event, you meet all sorts of people and fans. And you, know, you make friends. From oh. all over the world, so yeah, it, it's that that uh, no, I I really missed. So yeah, I agree with you, not Jiggy. In fact, ako, I've attended the, the San Diego Comic Con twice some time ago, and the last one that I attended was the New York Comic Con, and it's not just the exclusives, it's not just the, the the pop culture stuff that you get. It's being in the event, seeing people hobnobbing with your kind of yeah. people, your tribe. Sharing all, sharing in that delight, sharing stories, swapping stories, you know, ideas on what to get, and then you pe- meet people in line who will tell you things that like, oh, oh, I gotta get this, you know. So the con, the Comic Con experience is something else, and um, I think everyone at some point in their life should try to attend one of those, and we should be thankful that Phil Bars has done one last year. <coughs> Excuse me. So, but the, because of the pandemic, we were not able to have that other uh, local Comic Con. But uh, hopefully by 2021, with the vaccine around, who knows? Diba? Who knows? Now, with the light at the end of the tunnel, I, parang we're all more hopeful for the future. And again, let's just move forward. Diba? Sabi nga ni Stanley Excelsior. Yeah. Anyway, to cap off July, you know, we have two more things that we chose. For July, and then one of them is the Joker War. Yeah, Nikki, Nina, Nikki. <laughs> Joker War. What's this okay. one of your top books for the year? Mm, it was a uh, well, it well for the year, I suppose, because it yeah. was a really big event in, in terms of uh, Batman, the Batverse. Um, it's following the events of City of Bane, so this is a uh, post Alfred death. Hala, yeah. sa mga hindi pa nakakabasa. <laughs> anyway, um, Joker has this different strategy na eh. He's come back, pero now he he wants to use Wayne Tech against against Batman to get Gotham. Mm. What's cool about this one is, so si Batman is stripped of his weapons, stripped of his cash. Mm. Then, and at the end, it's like, it's like he kind of won pa rin. Kasi, his end goal wasn't really to to um, take over Gotham. It's like for people to doubt Bruce Wayne, who they once saw as like parang this symbol of hope. Now they yeah. just see him as this dude na, oh, corrupt din pala siya. Oh, he has these undeclared assets pala, which he uses kasi to support Batman. Diba? Stuff That's like right. that. And then, yeah, siempre there are characters introduced, nga, like si Punchline, si Clown Hunter. So hmm. Those were cool. Me running joke kami ni Rick, eh. like Rick would always say, parang if I, I wouldn't live in Gotham. Like if I were in Gotham, yeah. I'd move out, and <laughs> Rick would actually go. To I wouldn't and, live in Gotham. Yeah. Please, Please, Rick, you know yeah, you know what? But, uh, <laughs> I think it's a great. Maganda yun, but it's a good storyline, Joker, uh, Joker War, and all that. No? Yeah. Ang concern ko lang is more of Joker fatigue. You know, I yeah. grew up a Batman fan, and after a while, I thought there was just too much of Batman, so I got this Batman fatigue. Like, you know, I after a while the 
the different books did not have any far sense of continuity. And I felt that they were trying to outdo each other. Like, come on, man. Diba? So, as a long time Batman fan, it bothers me. Diba? So, even with Joker, saying, you know, it's not too often. So, every time oh. he appears and there's this big storyline, it's special. Diba? And, as, and like I said, no, in, 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 when we get to August, we'll tackle three Jokers. I feel like with every event surrounding the Joker, they're trying to top the body count and all that stuff. Like, Exactly. You know, can we just tell a good story? Sometimes it diba? feels kind of repetitive, diba? Instead of oh, just oh. telling a good story. Nga. Yeah. That's right. But this one but, was medyo kakaiba in that sense. So, si nga, he used right. Batman's resources against him. So, I suppose that's this right. was a good one. Naman. It was a good one. And, Jiggy, there's another one for July, and that's the Umbrella Academy. The season two mm-hmm. release on Netflix. Yeah, no. Yes. So tackling the Dallas storyline, if I'm not mistaken. And ayan, yeah, the good 1960s. News is that it was renewed for season three. Oh, uh, you know, it's just incredible to see Gerard Way to be a creative force, not only in music, but in comic books. No? Mm. Yeah, I really gotta give it to Gerard Way because hey, when this came out, he was nominated and he won. Uh, an Eisner right off the bat in his debut writing comic books. It was, I, I think it's brilliant. I, I, I did buy it the first time around. And, you know, all the stuff from in Young Animal and all that, I get it. I get all that stuff. Doom Patrol, you know, Cave Carson. I absolutely love Cave Carson. I do like this Grant Morrison. Eh? But it's, he's different from Grant. Eh? It's yeah, but different. I'm just saying uh, idol niya si Grant. Oh, yeah. He found this. You know, see, see, see. Grant is sometimes this cynical worldview, but with Gerard, parang siya Johnny Depp weirdness sa mga stories. <laughs> mm. I love it. Pagsusulat. <laughs> Ako oh. what I like about Umbrella Academy. It's not a typical superhero group story fighting yeah. a, a villain fighting bad guys it's it's actually focused on them as a family and how family. damaged they are <laughs> now they just happen to have superpowers and at and the, the same time sempre, if you have superpowers and they try to save the world na rin, ganun. but it, it really isn't about that lang it's about them being a family yeah it's messed up. For me. <laughs> After the R- Richards family in Fantastic Four and the Adams family, I gotta love this family in Umbrella Academy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, guys, if for the viewers who are just joining us, we're th- we're having our year-end recap, and our poll for tonight is what was the most important pop culture news event of 2020. So do let us know in the comment section below, and we'll read it out for you. And we're gonna move on to August and. Guys, naalala nyo ba yung ostrich na napakawalan within Metro Manila? Oo nga. <laughs> Umikot na naman ako. <laughs> so, Nikki went, is back from Jumanji. <laughs> Ayun. So, actually, na, naaliw ako with the bars. Kasi when... Nung lumabas yung news ng ostrich, ang galing nung ginawa ng Phil Bar saying, oh, we're, we're selling the Jumanji Funko Pops. That day, so para sa ko, Ivan ang galing ng ginawa. Sobrang timing, like brilliant, oh. brilliant. But mm-hmm. I know uh, during August, man, Rick, so many of my D- of our DC friends were just thrilled with DC fandom, and we had our very own si G- yep. Gino Kilimore. Um, it's his birthday today, so happy birthday, Gino. Si mm. Gino, what's the Filipino who? Represented us by being one of the hosts for DC Fandom. And then in DC Entertainment, yeah, oh. bombarded us with all these awesome news for pop culture. And yung the Batman, okay, let's get it on. Like, okay, see Pattinson. <laughs> all right, all right. I see you. I see you. <laughs> yeah. Hindi na siya Edward what do you guys Cullen. think of him, though? Yeah, what do you guys think of him? Post Twilight, pre Twilight, <laughs> during Tenet? No, no. As, as as Batman. Uh, Honestly, because no, uh, no, uh, uh, eh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. 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 
people saying, you know, how can you have a guy yeah. who's balding a little bit be Batman? But I remember in all the trade magazines at the time, when he put on that cowl, people were saying, yeah, he's Batman. Right? So I'm going to reserve judgment until I see that, you know. Because even Ben Hyde was like, yeah, same. Because <laughs> see, Robert Pattinson, he's not given much credit for his acting skills, but he's actually a good actor. Well, wag natin isaliw Twilight, <laughs> but he has done a lot of drama films lately. Lighthouse, isa na yun. It's devil all the time, and his his roles are always so different. Tapos in in fairness, nag nabibigyan niya ng justice. So. I'm excited to see how he would play a damaged Bruce Wayne na nagsa-start out pa lang. Maybe he could do for Bruce Wayne what Joaquin Phoenix did for Joker. We don't know. Okay. Point taken. Point taken. Hindi natin. Pero ang sayang lang dahil yung marketing nila was question mark, zero question. Yeah. Parang we played on the number two, di ba, with a question mark. Ngayon, mm. hindi na natin alam kung kailan siya papakita. Ay... Yeah. Anyway, ayun, Black Adam. Black Adam. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. Wayne then. Johnson. Ayan. Ano pa ba? Marami kasi yun eh. Si Static Shock was teased to return to DC Comics. Nanounced din sa DC Fandom. And then you've got two games. I think that was Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League sa so, Gotham Knights. Ayan, yung, yung the so Suicide, Suicide Squad. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. Tapos... Um, people uh, are saying King Shark now might be played by Taika Waititi. Siya na ba? Confirm yeah. I, I was thinking nga eh. Hindi ko rin sure eh. Pero I think that, that's a good move. Kasi I, I really didn't like Killer Croc na sa Suicide Squad. He's usually just part of Batman's rogues galleries. Why yeah. are you there? So, usually si King Shark talaga nandun. No, so, James thing. Gunn is a good addition to the DCEU. And Definitely. Then, He'll bring this movie to new heights. Definitely. So I don't think we're going to see a James Gunn cut anytime soon. Sorry. I'm not a fan of this. <laughs> our rated cut. Plan, what the... Anyway, before we proceed, we want to say hi to other mm-hmm. people who joined us. Hi, Tintin. Sabi niya she loves the Captain America shirt. I presume that you're referring to Jiggy's on your left. Diba? I'm also wearing a Captain America shirt. It's one of my favorites. Pakita mo kasi yung Captain America shirt mo rin. Hindi kita eh, yan. Oh, may mga bago akong shirts that I will debut next year, no? Alright, we also want to say to other people, Joseph, good evening, Joseph. Uh, si Camille, hi Camille. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining us on Hall of Justice in our year-end special. Yeah. Oh, so, ayun. Who next? Rick. Off podcast, because we were saying, uh, si Ivan, guys, did you know that there were like several Transformers comic books that were released in 2020? And one of them being Transformers with my little pony. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> yes, guys, nagkaroon ng Transformers, my little pony, friendship in disguise. Wow. I wonder. <laughs> I wonder how that went, diba? It's probably like X-Men Hello Kitty. Sobrang <laughs> lang. Sobrang lang. Hasbro for you. Yeah. Baka they, they're, they're targeting the bros. But then again, it, yeah, tapos interested ka. So, we believe mo. Yeah, I I'm, definitely, yeah. I'm definitely interested. So, that's <laughs> something I'm going to have to backtrack. So, if you're wondering why I'm going to backtrack, Kasi nung nag-start ang lockdown, tumigil ako sa kabili ng comic books eh. Kaya na now bumalik. Kasi... I wanna know if Megatron like blasts all these ponies. Alam mo yun? <laughs> Oo, oh, di ba? <laughs> Bakit ganyan yung imagination mo, Jinx? Maawa no, ka naman sorry. sa pony. <laughs> okay. Ayan, right. wait. Nasa na tayo? We're in September? Okay. September. Ito was super. Wait, what do we have in September? September kasi... There was a movie that was released digitally. I'm a big fan of this franchise. No, it's Bill and Ted Face the Music. And I, I grew up watching Excellent Adventure and Bogus Journey. Yeah. So I was really, really psyched. And then first two minutes of the movie, I gave out my loudest laugh of 2020. Yung unang oh. joke <laughs> sa movie panalo. Like, I really love the movie. Gee. Like, what? 
Excellent. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Tatry ko nga yan. Mga <laughs> hindi pa. Sabi ko nga, itatry ko nga yan. Tapos pag hindi bumenta sa akin yung first joke. Wala oh, na. you gotta, you gotta watch. Ito yung panuloy yung excellent adventure. Tsaka, you know what, guys? Ito, it, it just occurred mm. to me, ha? Di ba people say, like, um, some guys like Harrison Ford have played all these iconic characters. Han Solo, mm-hmm. di ba? Indiana Jones, di ba? But when you think about it, di ba? When you think about it, See, si Keanu Reeves has played what? Diba? He was in The Matrix. He's in Bill and mm. Ted. And then he's he's got Dracula. Yeah, and dami pa. <laughs> Johnny yeah. Mnemonic. Yeah. Speed. Speed. Yun. Also, yeah. we're forgetting Rick, I, want, I wanted to ask you, are you mm. a fan of the boys? Okay lang, okay lang. Ay, mali yung tinanong ko. Nikki, ikaw na lang. Nikki, are you a fan of the boys? <laughs> I am. Super. Lagi ko ang tinatanong, does, does liking Homelander make me a bad person? <laughs> anyway, Actually, such an interesting Homelander, dude kasi. Uh, an, he's an interesting character kasi. Yeah, yun nga eh. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't do what he's been doing, pero interesting kasi talaga siya. so fun to watch. Kasi, he played sorry, by such so, a great um, actor then. Like if something mm. like spoiler spoiler alert if you haven't seen the boys, um, <laughs> ayan. Because if if patayin mo si Homelander, like I'd be devastated. Like saying yeah. character niya, hmm. yeah. si sino pang bubuhay sa <laughs> sa the boys? So the seven. Mm. No, but I love Carl mm. Urban also. Ayon. Also, so for September, I would have to commend Marvel with Ten of Swords. Dahil um, midway, parang magkaroon siya ng what the heck am I reading? Like, ano nangyayari dito? Pala, you know, it was really the game of Saturnine. And they tied it up together. 22 issues across several titles. It worked. I enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe not the bundang middle part, but in the end, I think it was a good um, crossover for X Men, and X Men hasn't been this relevant in years. That's so yeah, right. good job for okay, Marvel for Ten of Swords, and then finally for September, we na naman ng craze for Funko because of the McDonald's Funko Pops. Yeah, mm-hmm. do we have a picture of the McDonald's? Funko Pop, parang wala. Ayan. But parang wala. Ayan. Ang ganda yung partner yan kay Jollibee. September. Yes. But sige, since na ano ko ni Ronald McDonald, na joke ko, sa October naman, nagkaroon ng kagulong image at pinagkaguluhan online and this was the debut of the Trece animated like concept art. Ayan. With this single image, yeah. pinagkaguluhan siya ng mga tao. And I'm just so proud of Budget Tan and Kajo Baldissimo. Like, well, I can't wait for this series to come out next year. That's right. Yep. Ayun. Um, also in October, a lot of people might hate me for this, but I'm a big Adam Sandler fan. And I really did enjoy Hubie Halloween nung, uh, at debut nung, the day after my birthday. So ito yung birthday movie ko. Hubie Halloween, love Adam Sandler. I loved all the Easter eggs in that movie. Nikki, back me up. Nagustuhan mo rin naman yung Hubie Halloween, di ba? <laughs> <laughs> Kasi ako, um, si, si Adam Sandler hasn't really, hasn't exactly demonstrated a sense of maturity sa comedy oh, niya. Nga. And that's, I like him because thing. of that. That's the good thing. <laughs> you need to mature. It, it, it's refreshing na immature yung mga joke nga and they're so funny. Anyway, super nagustuhan ko rin yung Hoopy Halloween. Wait, di ba it, it was like, ano ba, parang one of the top movies ba of Netflix for 2020? Masama na kasi yung following ni Sandman sa Netflix. 
you know, he every now and then he pulls this surprise. I thought like 50 first dates is amazing. I loved it, you know. Teka, teka. Mag-backtrack ako. Alam mo kung nasa dulo ng tongue ko kanina in terms of Keanu Reeves? John Wick. John Wick, man. Okay. You know, all those iconic mm. roles of Keanu Reeves, diba? Yeah, dude. Cool. Bogus. Bogus. <laughs> Ayan, yes. Yeah, Cyberpunk. Johnny Silverhand. Oh, it was diba? part of our geeky gift guide. You can get the Johnny Silverhand Funko Pop sa Phil Bars. Anyway, we're still in October. Ito. Ito na talaga yung spoiler alert, ha? Spoiler mm. alert because we're gonna talk about Mandalorian Season 2. Marami kasi it's the season finale is coming out tomorrow and I know some people na mag, they'll start watching tomorrow pa lang. Mm. And then they'll binge watch all eight episodes. Pero uh, this... I'm, I'm, I'm sad and excited at the same time. Sad na mag ending season two. Pero what a season. Like, it's so much better than season one. Grabbing surprises. <laughs> yeah. Ayan. Like, kudos to John Favreau, Dave Filoni, and all the rest of the Lucasfilm team members who have worked on The Mandalorian season two. Amazing, amazing job. Actually, I was going to binge we have to acknowledge the man who's always backstage, si Ivan mm. Guerrero. Kasi no October, yeah. no August then. There's my man, Ivan Guerrero. Yes. Yeah. The yes. man, what's Ivan? Um, mm. Ivan was the guy who designed the Sesame Street Lego Idea set and that debuted or was released October. Unfortunately for us, dahil sold out na siya, dahil sobrang popular niya. Ayun. And I feel bad for Ivan because he didn't get that parang launch day where he gets to sign all the sets. But ayun, maybe next oh, year, COVID Ivan kasi. will have a, an event for us, diba? Ako, magpapasign ako as soon as I get my, my, my set this January. No? Nice. Okay. Rick, you posted mm. it about an hour ago. November, you posted about Thor. And I wanted to get your thoughts on this Donny Cates and Nick Klein run. Definitely, you know, uh, after Jason Aaron, that incredible, incredible run of Jason Aaron that was went for what? For quite a long time, years and years. years huh? yeah. And uh, that was just, you know, I used to think that Walt Simonson did the definitive Thor storyline, but Jason Aaron just blew that away. And anyone who follows an act like that, you know, you have your work cut out for you. But in the space of 10 issues, Donny Cates, who revitalized Venom, by the way, is at it again. And just Thor is one of those comic books that you got to read. And right now, we're at issue number 10. This is number 9 that you're seeing. And it is the Prey storyline. And we won't spoil it for you guys. But he answers a question that has never been answered about Thor and Donald Blake ever. Killing it all. Killing it all. Yep. Um, who say it's gonna blow your mind away? And issue number eleven cannot come soon enough. Yes. I can't wait for issue eleven. Ayan. Oh, oh, grabe, diba? But since we're talking about Donny Cates, Rick, no. So also in November, lumo was yung crossover from Image Comics, and that's uh, in tandem with Jeff Shaw and D. Kunif. I don't know how to pronounce it, but Jeff Shaw is the lead artist for Crossover, and um, it's a literal crossover in the world. Now, all these comic book characters suddenly appear in the world, and bad pala sila lahat. Like, they're bad for society. And <laughs> yun, good concept. I'm enjoying it. Yep, yep. Yeah. But you know, we're not yet done with uh, Donny Cates because he's got King in, King in Black, right? So December na yung King in Black. So we're on our oh. final month of, oh. of this year and recap. Ayan. Um, so in King in Black, it debuted a couple of weeks ago. 
And this is the culmination event of what Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman have worked on the past couple of years. Ayan, King in Black, number one. Null has arrived. And oh. Null, if you've been living under a rock, Null is like this Thanos level super villain introduced by Donny Cates uh, Marvel Universe. You'll just have to read King in Black 2 to 5 to find out. Ano nangyari? But, ito pala, a little bit of trivia from Jiggy every week. So, Rick and Nikki, yung King in Black, for the very first time in history, someone bought the original art of the entire series. Wow. So, all the pages, all the covers, from issue one to issue five, na reserve na. It's for a museum. Oh. So, congratulations to... to um. Ryan Stegman, J.P. Meyer, and yung rep niya si Felix Lu for that incredible accomplishment. So, yes, you know, I am fans won't be able to get pieces of art from Stegman on this run, but again, it's going to go to a museum for the world to see. You know, uh, as a corollary to itong ginagawa ni Donny Cates for, for Venom, no? and especially here with King in Black, no? several years ago, diba, when Spider-Verse was introduced, diba, sila Morlun and all that, it greatly added to the mytho- the mythos of Spider-Man. Yes, yes. And this one is another game changer. Like, whoa, diba? Parang galing, diba? Some people kasi, like, ako, if you, one of my pet peeves about Batman kasi is like, how people mine Batman year one, diba? They keep getting stuff out of it and they spin it into, and some, some of them work, diba? Some of it works and I'm not sure about the others, diba? But ito, diba, they're not exactly mining it. They're punching out into new territories diba, with Spider-Man and with Venom. So it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yep. Ayan. Almost there, guys. Um, December, we also got this super... How do I say it? Like The, o- the most overwhelming day for me no? as, a Mar- as a Marvel and Disney Star Wars fan... Nagkaroon ng Disney Investors Day 2020. And you know what? We're just going to leave this image. And how do you take it all <laughs> Ang dami. in? Kong dami. Exactly. Yes. Wow. But right there, front and center, yung Rescue Rangers. Like, it's a live action movie. Tapos si Chip and Dale will be played by John Mulaney and... Andy Samberg, like, sorry ko, pumalak pak talaga ako while watching it. Like, oh, I can't wait for Chipende. <laughs> Yon. Well, it gives you something to think about in this time of pandemic, diba? Something to be hopeful about and look forward look to. Look forward diba? to. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. So, yun, talaga nag mic drop yung Disney. Ito, gusto yung content. Ayan. Good luck with your brains. <laughs> yeah. And. You know what? Wait, that's not the only thing that fried. Sorry, Rick. Go ahead. You know that's not the only thing that fried people's brains because if we segue to Daredevil, oh, there's yeah. another incredible twist, Jiggy. The spoil palahod dito two weeks ago. Hindi ko na sabi ng kusina ng spoil, but yan. These guys uh, are getting spo- let's, choppy. Let's see. Let's see the image yeah. of the second print spoil of for Daredevil, natin, yeah. number twenty-five. Because uh, you know. Hindi niyo tinanaw sa akin, but this is actually my comic book of the year. Daredevil, I really do love what Chip Zdarsky and Marco oh. Kikato have been working on for 25 yep. issues. And, yep, you know, see, the concept is that si Matt Murdock accidentally kills someone and he feels bad na, you know, I don't deserve to be Daredevil, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. So, I surrender myself. Sa issue 20, 24, sinabi niya, arrest me. And then issue 25, he's already in jail. And guess who the new Daredevil is? Foggy Nelson. Yes. No? It's actually no. Electra. Sabihin natin, ano ba naman mga taong? Electra. They've been living probably in, uh, what, on Owa? <laughs> if they don't know. Wala <laughs> 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 well, nang spoiler uh, warning. They would still guardians, so they would still know, di ba? Yeah. Okay, mid two mid two topics style uh, DC also frying our brain. Thoughts on Ray 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 Velasco. Wait lang ah. 
We have two more topics and we want to end on a high note. So we'll start so, muna with the uh, we'll we'll uh, start with the bad news lang muna no. So yung HBO Max news kasi ang daming directors na nagalit. Wow. Well, all the 2021 <laughs> movies are headed to HBO Max including The Suicide Squad, The Matrix 4, no. Dune, Wonder Woman 84, Mortal Kombat, and you know Space Jam, a new legacy among others. Wow. Yeah. Sign the Matrix 4, to be honest. Like, ah, I would have wanted to see the Matrix 4 in IMAX. But no. Exactly. We cannot have that. Can it's Wonder Woman. Man. I'd like to watch it uh, theaters. Pero yeah. dinabalik, guys, at least, you know, we're hopeful for 2021 that will blow our minds away instead of our minds being fried by COVID. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Ayun. Finally, ito na. We will end uh, with a little with a little glimmer of hope with DC Comics' future state. And this is happening next month. So, Nikki, kanino ka pinaka-excited? Is it the new Batman? The new Wonder Woman? Well, siyempre si, si new Batman. Because <laughs> um, I think I think itong future state would be more friendly sa new readers. Kasi nga it's it would be easier to get into. Um, alam niyo ba na it's set daw in 2025? That's not that far off. <laughs> um, okay. Anyway, uh, I, I suppose nabalitaan nyo na to, si Batman daw will be black. Then, yeah, they um, actually announced the, it earlier, mm-hmm. earlier this week. Si yeah. Tim Fox will be the new Tim Batman. Fox. Pero ito lang ha. The, the price tag on the issue is $8.99. It's a $9 book. Like, okay. <laughs> Medyo mahal lang siya. Nakakagulat din though that they chose Tim. Kasi si, si Lucius, kasi he has another son, Lucas Fox. He's actually si Batwing. Bat- Batwing. Yeah, so, well, if you're thinking Luke, Lucius Fox's son, siya yung iisipin mo. But they went with Tim. Maybe they wanted someone really fresh, like talagang walang origin story or anything, so they can start from scratch. Well, okay naman. Tapos, um, I think this is DC's way of trying to diversify then their characters. Kasi kahit si Wonder Woman will be Brazilian daw. Stuff like that. So, let's see if this continues even after the future state. Thingy. Feeling ko it will. Yeah. I'm thinking that this future state is kind of like, um, kung Mar- if we're talking Marvel, Lilo, ult- para siyang ultimate fallout, kung saan dinebu si Miles Morales, and then months later, he had his own title. So I think it's kind of like that. Future yeah. state, and then all mm-hmm. these other characters will have their own solo titles um, in the near future as well. All right, balik tayo sa comment ni... Who was that person who commented it kanina? It was Ray Dark Velasco. Night. Ray, I hope you're still yes. with us. And his comment was, yes. DC Hello, also Ray. frying our brains. So, ano daw yung thoughts on Dark Knight's Actually, death metal? I can't hindi ba kayo natatakot? Kasi th- this uh, future state will be coming after that arc, yung Dark Knight's death metal. So, mapapaisip ka tuloy, what's gonna happen there? <laughs> na kailangan magpalit ng Batman and everything. So, we'll see how, how they're going to end. It has developed into a crisis event kasi yung death, yeah. Dark Knight's death metal. Mm-hmm. So, we'll see how it ends. Ayun, to end our recap, our year-end review, we did it, guys. 12 months. And for those who have stuck it out until the very end, yeah, so what was the most important pop culture news event of 2020? But for all those still with us, we have the discount code promotion for tonight. Yeah. And it is this. Available now at shop.philbars.online. Use code COSBABYXMAS2020 to get 20% off on regular priced hot toys, cause baby figures, and only five discount slots available limited to one piece per customer 
Yan. Just want to remind everybody na eight days na lang till Christmas. <laughs> na feel nyo na ba? Hindi eh. Hindi eh. Wala kasing gifts yun yun ng Oo. Oo. Ha Well, isipin na natin. Eight days till ano, Wonder Woman. What do you guys think of that, ba? Ako kasi eight days before Soul, yung Pixar. Ready ako to cry on mm. Christmas. Ikaw, break. Ano bang inaabangan mo? <laughs> I'm waiting for Wonder Woman. There's a lot, you know. I'm s- excited that, you know, um, there's a lot. Wonder Woman, obviously, everything, everything. There's just so much to be excited about, you know. And I think it's great that, uh, you know, the world didn't really stop. You know, we might have lost some things along the way, uh, changed our routines so in some way, but you know, the the world of pop culture, though it was on hiatus for a while, diba? now it's back in full force. And, um, you know, once the vaccine's out there and people are properly vaccinated and all that, you know, we might just watch Wonder Woman and IMAX and all that. All these things, you know, that we would take for granted. Diba? So there's a lot to be hopeful yep. for. And we hope that all of you people watching... Uh, Sabi nga nila, it's the, uh, the, the beginning of the end of COVID. Hopefully. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. No? Diba? Oo. Oh, oh. Ayan. So... Well, there are you know good what? things din naman that came out of 2020. One of them is this podcast. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Guys! Guys, I guess we got to thank Phil, the, the Phil Bars people in the backstage. Uh, yeah. Jacob and Erica Buchan, si Ivan Guerrero for building this program to give all the fans um, a little bit of cheer during this crappy 2020. And we wanted, wanted to thank all the viewers who have been watching Hall of Justice week in and week out. We really do appreciate you staying with us every Thursday night. That's right. No? Uh, Siguro, just to sort of join you to that, this is one year in the making. You know, we talked about it during the the Phil Bar's Comic Odyssey Comic Con that was uh, conducted last year, di ba? Yeah. And, na kami noon. and then, you know, I, COVID was the perfect time to launch this. I mean, the pandemic, sorry, uh, was the perfect time to launch this. And we're very happy that we got Nikki to join us also, di ba? Ang oh, cool lang views niya, di ba? I mean, yun yun I, I, have, so, I have yet to meet these two awesome dudes. Alam nyo ba, oh, viewers? We, we haven't <laughs> in met person. in person pa. Oo, oh, oh, yeah. diba? Laking bagay ni Ninang Nikki sa Hall of Justice, diba? And, you know, you know she, not only is she a uh, pop culture fan, she knows what she's talking about. Yeah. And that really makes it fantastic <laughs> discussion. Kasi you don't want to hear my yeah, rants. Happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> With Rick's Rants coming soon in 2021. Year, so, well, so we mentioned next year because actually this is our last episode of the year. We're going to retool and get ready for 2021 like everyone else. So we're getting ready for that. And you'll watch out for Nikki's News and Rick's Rants. And we'll think of something for Jiggy. His own but uh, tales from the Comic Con. Stories from, oh, yeah, yeah, tales from the Comic Con. So watch watch out for that come 2021 with all of our own portions where we talk about certain things. And I have yet to decide if I want to tee off on Frank Miller in the Dark Knight. <laughs> 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 tee off with Todd. Ah, smile na ka lang. May debate kami ni Todd McFarlane before, pero sa kana, ewan ko na. <laughs> Yeah, sorry for another app. Definitely. So again, we're at the, the end of our year-end episode that we hope that you enjoyed this recap. It's a brief recap because, well, if we if it weren't brief, we'd be here all night. Diba? So we want to thank all the viewers out there. Maraming salamat. Nikki, Jiggy, you want to say goodbye to them? And what can they look forward to? Anything that you're doing for the remainder of 2020? Let's start with you, Nikki. Oh, I just have a uh, happy and safe holidays, guys. And watch the news. Kasi hindi natutulog ang balita. Tuloy-tuloy lang. I'll be working on Christmas and New Year for the past two years. That's been my life. 
<laughs> Pero Nikki, you'll be at home naman, working from home. Christmas and New Year. Mm, not sure. Not oh, sure no. yet. Sometimes we report to the studio. Well, it's okay. I miss it now. Okay. <laughs> So, ako naman, I, I have one final Yay, quiz night for 2020 and it's for charity. Uh, tomorrow night at 8 p.m. It's a Christmas themed quiz night. So, um, I'm going to quiz everyone on Christmas food, Christmas movies, Christmas songs, Christmas traditions, <laughs> and Christmas stories. So, do check it out. It's sure.com.ph. And if we don't, don't get to talk to you guys anymore, wishing you and your family. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Please stay safe. I know a lot of us want to reunite with our relatives, but konting yeah. tesa lang. social distancing tayo. Yeah. Right. So on my part, uh, I still have my football podcast. Uh, that's every Saturday and Sunday. It's called The Boot Room. It's on Sky Cable Channel 265, Signal Channel 271. We talk about the English Premier League and it's all football. This Saturday at 8.30 on the new channel, TNC, I am a guest of Erwin Ursua where we talk about, uh, well, it's an inspirational show. No? It's about motivation and uh, Erwin will be interviewing me about my unique journey from New York and back to Manila. So, and every, all the lessons I learned there and how it's allowed me to do this and that. And you know what, guys? You know, uh, Hall of Justice is just really great. It's always fun to go back here every Thursday and just talk about geek stuff. You're among people who are like you in the same tribe. And we get to hear from these cool fans out there. So we want to thank you. And we have to remind you that you please pass by Phil Bars because they've got a lot of cool stuff. Ako talaga, nakita ko nung last Thursday, yung trade paperbacks ng Immortal Hulk because I missed out on issues number 8 to 12. And you know what? It's just those issues are just so tough to find right now. But they're on trade paperback and uh, hardbound. And Phil Bars has got some great prizes on this and many others. I saw a lot of cool notebooks from the Avengers to Harry Potter. Did you get their coffee mugs, Rick? I did. And <laughs> this is what I got from my son, Matthew. Incidentally, my eldest son, Matthew, is named after Matt Murdock. I'm that massive a Daredevil fan. I grew up a Daredevil fan. <laughs> Oh, diba? Millennium Falcon, diba? Yes. Oh, oh, diba? You know, they, they got a lot of cool mugs and film bars. It's excellent gift items. So, as Nikki said, eight days before Christmas, punta na kayo. So, again, we want to thank everyone. Eight days to run to film bars. Oh, oh diba? So, <laughs> you know, we want to thank everyone. So, Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. Thanks.